Welcome. This is the Cisco CCNA ENSA, also known as the Enterprise Networking Security and Automation course. This course focuses on the CCNA version 7 curriculum. This is course 3 of 3. Welcome. In this lab, we are doing 2.6.6, verifying single OSPF area. So with Cisco's new lab designer, the lab guide is actually built into the rest of the network, into the packet tracer. So they're no longer separate files, which is good and bad. All right, so read through the objectives, read through the background, and let's go ahead and let's follow the commands so that we can see what information we can get. So we're going to be learning about the different types of show commands. I'm going to hop on R1, get to our CLI. Oh, it actually does require a username. All right, so username is branch admin password branch 1234. Alright, so first things first, show IP int brief. You're going to see that we get our interfaces, we get a brief summary, addresses, status, and protocol. So we have Ethernet 0, we have serial 000 and serial 00 slash 1. All of our interfaces are up. Next, show IP route. This will be our routing table. So we can see that we have a gateway of last resort. We have several learned uh, routes via OSPF. And we have our gateway of last resort set through OSPF. So we do that through configuring OSPF and doing the inform uh, default information originate so basically anything uh, destined outside the network, we will send R2, R2 will send it to the ISP. So we can also do a show IP route OSPF. This will only show the routes learned via OSPF. Next we can do a show IP OSPF neighbor, and we can see our OSP neighbors, we can see the OSPF uh, router IDs, we can see their priorities, we can see their state, and they're on a full loading state. Next, let's do a show IP protocols. We will see our routing protocol, it's using OSPF process ID 10. We have a router ID set for router one. It's one, 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 one. It is sharing those three networks. It has a passive interface. So it's not sending routing updates through the gig interface. And it knows about the following router IDs. So it knows about router two, router three, and it's using the default uh, administrative distance of 110. Next, we can do show IP OSPF. So this is going to show us a much more in-depth setup of OSPF. It will show our LSAs. It will show if there's any uh, flooding. It will show checksums. Lastly, will be a show IP OSPF interface. So this will show us our interfaces that are attached to an OSPF. Here we have our gig 000. It has that network. It's tied to area 0. The router itself has a router ID of 1111. Its state is a designated router with a priority of 1. Serial 000. This is the network statement. It's also attached area zero. It is set as a point to point with a cost of 64. 
Here are the time intervals. 10 for the hello, 40 seconds for the dead, wait is 40 seconds, retransmit is 5, and we can see again if there's any flooding or adjacencies that are listed. So we've gone through all of our different show commands. All right, so now that we've done part one, let's get to step one, verify OSPF operations. We've already looked at our router one. We've already done our show route. We've already uh, executed the show IP neighbor, and we've talked about these. We've already formed the adjacencies. We've seen that it was connecting to R2 and R3. So you know what, let's just go up. Our neighbors, so we connected to R2 and R3. Verify, so we did our, we just issued a show IP OSPF interface we can drill down on specific ones if we want to. So show IP OSPF interface. So with just the interface command, we can see all of the interfaces, or we can list them specifically, gig RSI zero. So we can only look at one single interface if we choose to. So what type of OSPF network is attached to this interface? Network type is broadcast. It is a state of uh, DR. I want to compare that to our serial. Here we have a point to point. So there are differences, and there are different costs associated with them. Dead timers, hello timers, all of the timers are matching up, but one interesting part is gig 000, gig 00. There is no suppress for neighbors. Gig00 zero zero is actually set to uh, a passive interface, so we're not expecting to receive information on that interface. So we've already... Oh, that was on R2, sorry. We're going to do it on R2 as well. Branch admin branch one two three four show IP OSPF interface gig and again it should be the same thing if we're looking at any of the uh, information it's a broadcast. It also is slated for a designated router on that. Again, that's because we're not having it associated with the rest of the network. We're sending our information about that network to the other routers, but anything attached on the LAN side is acting as its own little broadcast network. So, ping the serial interface on router 3. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to ping serial 0001 on R3. 10, 0, alright, so 192.168.10.10. Oh, it said from PC2, so PC2, desktop, and it should work because PC2 doesn't know where it's going. It will send it to R2. R2 
will do our matching. It will look to see if there is any matching routes in the routing table. If not, then it will go to its default route. There is a matching route, so it will send it to R3 as appropriate. Because again, there is a matching route. So step two is taken care of. That part is taken care of. Step three, verify OSPF uh, operations on R3. R3 doesn't have a username or password, so we're good on that. Issue a show IP protocol. Again, we say OSPF version 10. We see the different gateways. We see the networks attached to it. We can see there are different paths. So let's go and do a show IP OSPF neighbor details. Show IP OSPF neighbor details. So we can see specifically about the different neighbors. So we're going to be sending information out our different serial interfaces. This is our directly connected neighbor, R1. This is our directly connected neighbor, R2. What is the neighbor priority shown in the OSPF router? So what we're looking for is priority zero, priority zero. So our designated router and our back designated router are all showing our default routes. Using the command prompt on PC3, ping the ISP router address is in the routing table. So, ISP router 64154.5. Desktop, ping 64.100.54.5. So this should take the default route, and it, the first one should time out as an ARP request. What ends up happening is PC3 will send it to R3. R3 will not know what to do with it because it's not a matching route. It will send it to the default gateway, which it knows is connected to R2. So R3 will forward that packet to R2. R2 will inspect it and send it out its default interface to the ISP network. So step three is complete. Moving on, part two. Add the new branch office LAN to the router. So you will now add a pre-configured branch LAN to the OSPF network. Execute a show run beginning with router OSPF. So I actually haven't connected it yet because step two is connecting it. Step one is verifying it, so R3. run. I'm going to do the shift hash key above the enter so we get our line. We want it to begin at router OSPF. That didn't work right there. So it actually starts loading the show at the, it starts loading the show run at the router OSPF. And we can see our different networks. So we have our two stub networks, our serial interfaces, but you'll see that our new branch office is not connected here. All right, so let's go ahead and let's do step two using a Ethernet cable. We're going to plug into gig 000 interface on the router. So we're going to connect switch 4 to R3. That's going to be a straight through. So on connect the gig 00 interface on R4.
and we're going to connect that to the switch 3 gig 1 that's on the router this is on switch 3 we'll use a show IP OSPF neighbor to verify the route or four is now adjacent with router three. So show IP OSPF neighbor. So it's not quite there yet. Nope. Now it is, it's now initial, and it's a DR other. Now it is a backup designated router. And I'm gonna pause it for a second to let it fully convert. All right, so all the other routers should know about it. So first thing we're gonna notice is this is a full designated, a backup designated router. Why is R4 a full backup designated router? Well, first thing that I want to do is I want to go ahead and do a show IP OSPF interface gig 0 slash 0. It's a broadcast network. With the serials, they're point to point networks. Point to point will not do elections. Here, in our gig interface, it's a broadcast network. It has an adjacency neighbor and the JCNC neighbor is our backup designated router. Again, it is tied to a broadcast network, so it actually does the election. So, using the command prompt on the laptop, ping the address of PC2. and it does work so that is the uh, end of the lab let's go and click check results we completed it assessment items 4 out of 4 20 out of 20 all read check marks we are good to go if there's any questions or concerns about this material please reach out thank you